for a free fund cal and in this video let's review aditya birla sun life equity fund and uh, a question a reader asked can this replace a large cap fund of course many people have now started asking uh, if a multi cap fund or a large end uh, mid cap fund can replace uh, a large cap fund because they have realized that uh, large cap funds will find it difficult to uh, beat the index and whether they can replace these uh, kind of funds in their portfolio uh, the question is uh, i mean the question is a good one but the answer is uh, there's no uh, clear yes or no to it so um, i'm not going to switch to full screen now and i'll um we'll come back to this with the summary so let's go to this so this fund has had a, a risky pa past i uh, this fund was uh, part of uh, alliance capital um i think it was started in 1998 and during the dot com uh, boom and bust this took on excessive amounts of risk and uh, the fund manager was uh, got into trouble because of that and he was uh i think he quit and then uh, uh, and then in 2004 uh, aditya birla uh, mutual fund took over this and then since then they have made a uh, uh, few changes three four changes and since october 2012 anil shah is the uh, is the fund manager so this has been a uh, uh, this uh, risk uh, it has been a risk taking fund in the past but of course recently it has toned down and it is uh, Uh, gained the reputation of being a large cap, uh, large capish, multi cap fund. Of course, it still retains the freedom to take on more of mid caps, more of small caps when the market uh, opportunities right as per the fund manager's view. Now, if you look at the um, multi cap space, Kotak Standard multi cap has got twenty four thousand crores in EU. And uh, HDFC equity has got about twenty-two point five thousand crores. Uh, Motala Loswal uh, could catch up soon. And uh, ABS equity is in the fifth spot in terms of uh, AUM in the this category at eleven thousand crores. Uh, so the others are more or less close. Motala Loswal is going to has about thirteen thousand crores or so and so on. So um, the more uh, distributor friendly the amc the more the aum grows and i think this uh, multi cap space the aum could grow pretty rapidly in many of the funds so you rather keep an eye out on that uh, as it could affect performance if it, uh, if it moves up too fast too much uh, so um with that said let's look at the uh, usual uh, returns and risk graphs So, if you are looking at my fund reviews for the first time, on the top panel you have what is known as the rolling return graph. That is, I I have plotted every possible ten-year returns uh, in those in those coloured lines. For example, the green line is the Aditya Birla Equity Fund, and there are two thousand five hundred and ninety-eight ten-year returns in that green line. The blue line is Nifty five hundred. The uh, pink line is Nifty 200. The brown is BSE 200, and the Nifty Large Mid Cap is the red uh, red index. The Nifty Large Mid Cap is a blend index. It's got 50% of Nifty 100, the Large Cap index, and 50% of mid, uh, Nifty Mid Cap 150. Notice that over 10-year periods, the fund has done reasonably well. The green line uh, is more or less above uh, all the time above the uh, all the indices. But uh, notice that the outperformance, the quantum of outperformance, has come down uh, in the recent past, and that's probably because of its uh, large cap bias, and uh, because of that, it uh, is not able to beat the blend index Nifty Large Mid Cap 250. And in terms of risk, um, if you look at that, the, there's not much of a difference in terms of risk between the uh, fund and the other indices. That is something that. Uh, in my opinion a bit of a sore point for this fund if you do the same uh, graph for over every possible 5 years you now have 300 and uh, 3847 data points especially in the last few years the green the green line has done a touch better than all the other indices which is good uh, it has had a uh, somewhere in the middle around this region it has had a poor run here the outperformance was good probably because it had uh, much more of mid small caps but then again it it suffered in this period and then it became i i think it sort of became a large large capish fund in this period uh or oh, the five year uh, risk 
um, graph that you see in the bottom is uh, not too convincing. Well, for those of you who are not see, uh, who don't who don't, uh, don't understand what this is, these are what is called as the um, the standard deviation of the rolling standard deviation uh, data points. So that is over every possible five years, I look at the monthly returns and I find out how much the individual monthly return uh, deviates from the average monthly return, and that measure is called the standard deviation, and that's a measure of risk. More the deviation, more the risk. Notice that the green line is more or less in close to the other indices and that's not a good uh, sign in my opinion. I think, uh, I mean, I would prefer, personally prefer a fund that takes, uh, that consistently has lower risk than the indices and I think this is not one such fund in spite of it being a large cap uh, tilted fund. Now, this is the comparison with peers, the peers with similar age or as old. Uh, Aditya Birla is again green. Uh, Franklin India Equity Fund, that is Franklin Prima Plus. This was reviewed last week. You can have a, uh, you can have a look at that video. And HDFC uh, Equity is in yellow. Um, notice that there's not much difference over 10 years. Uh, but uh, in terms of risk, and uh, this is where Franklin uh, Prima Plus scores. It has got consistently lower risk than the other two funds. This is over 10 years and again the same data over 5 years. Not much difference in terms of return. But again, in terms of risk, the Franklin India fund is a much better fund. So that is uh, that in terms of performance. Uh, if you go to Morningstar, you will also see the downside protection. It does not have much of a downside protection. That is whenever the index falls, um, it only uh, um, gives you 10% downside protection. That is the fund, if the index falls by, uh, let's say, uh, if the index falls by 10%, the you know, the fund will fall 90% of that amount so it will not it will just give you a little bit extra uh, protection not too much so that's not a uh, that's not a great uh, performer in in my opinion uh, so let's come back to this so uh, the, coming back to the um, title of question can this replace a large cap fund in my opinion, if you want a multi-cap fund that can replace a large cap fund, I think you should look at Franklin Prima Plus. That is probably a better choice because it's got consistent low risk. HDFC equity has got is a much more risky fund, probably more riskier than this fund. ABSL, uh, large, uh, ABSL um, equity, they should change the name. I don't know why they want to call it equity fund. But all the three guys, ABSL equity fund, Franklin India equity fund, um, HDFC equity, that, that sounds a little uh, too uh, prosaic. Anyway, so uh, the, the thing is that uh, this particular fund, I think, does not give the investor enough protection in terms of volatility compared to the index, although it is capable of beating the index. Uh, although we say it is a large cap fund, it can take on mid and small caps. We do not know if this, its AOM is not too high, so it can convert into a proper multi-cap fund and I think uh, I don't think ABSL equity can be a replacement for large cap. Franklin Prima Plus or Franklin India equity fund renamed as Franklin India equity fund could be a possible choice as long as it maintains its large cap tip. What we need in this space, I mean this is something that we need both in the equity space and in the debt fund space. We want a fund which has got equal amounts of large caps, mid caps, and small caps at all times or it should have 50% large caps, 25% mid caps, 25% uh, small caps and every month the fund manager should rebalance. This would be a proper multi cap kind of fund. I don't know if there's such a fund. If you know of such a fund, let me know. Uh, I'm certainly uh, be interested in looking at it. This is my, uh, uh, my idea of a multi cap fund. It should have a proper uh, compartmentalized large cap allocation. Similarly, in the case of debt funds also, for those who are interested, you should have 50% guilds, 25% corporate bonds, 25% uh, cash or money market instruments, that kind of uh, binging, it will be an all-weather uh, equity fund on an all-weather uh, debt fund. That's what we need and I think that's, it's, uh, we need something which is rigorously sticking to such a mandate. It's a pity, I don't, it's very hard to find such a fund. Even if you find such a fund, uh, two months later, they will say fundamental change in attribute and change. So it's, it's so painful uh, with these fellows. So that's the problem. So that's what I wanted to say about this video. Uh, uh, 
uh, I know many of you have been uh, giving me uh, mutual fund uh, uh, recommendations on I mean, funds that I need to review. I will. Uh, I think I should conduct a kind of a poll uh, here. I've been told I should do that. I will, I will try and do that. Um, have a good week ahead, and uh, I'll catch you another video. Bye bye.